Sponsored by Wing Wing Technologies, one of the highest button counts in the industry. Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Over the last few days we've done some Ukraine simulations, for instance if Denmark had loaned Ukraine F-16s, how would they fare in the eastern Ukraine conflict area? Also if Poland had loaned Ukraine MiG-29s, how would they fare? And so far we've got some fairly interesting results. But I was laying in bed the other day unable to sleep and I thought what if America were already operating F-22 Raptors and or F-35 Lightning IIs in the conflict area of Ukraine. Would we even know about it? I mean, realistically, they're probably not, right? Someone would have found out. But could they operate in secrecy and impunity? Well, let's investigate and simulate it today as best we can. First, to the overview map. This is a map of the Ukraine area. The red circles, the last known positions, this may be aging now, but last known positions of the S-400 SAM systems that Russia fields, their frontline SAM systems. The area we're going to be simulating today, because we can only simulate relatively small areas at once, is the Mariupol, Donetsk, Rostov-on-Don region here, 150 kilometers high. 250 kilometers wide. If America were fielding F-22s and F-35s, we theorize they would be coming from the nearest Polish base, which we've got up here, 1,200 kilometers away from the combat area. If these stealth aircraft would be operating, they would definitely be operating with NATO AWACS support. You guys, the valued viewers, have handily supplied me with actual NATO AWACS patrol positions as of flight tracker. There are NATO AWACSs on this racetrack here, and this racetrack here. Now the interesting thing is neither of those NATO AWACSs would have enough detection range to operate in the combat area here. They have about 300 miles, maybe a little bit more, which is roughly what I'm drawing out here. So if the F-32s, F-35s were operating in our contested area here, they would not have AWACS support. So if they were to operate in secrecy, what would they need? Well, they would need to be undetectable from hostile Russian radar. Stealth aircraft have a very small radar cross-section. You can see some cross-section here. An Insect 0.001 meter squared, an F-35 0.005 meter squared. The Raptor was roughly about the same as the F-35. They are not invisible to radar, but they are very difficult to detect. For instance, very roughly, and this is how it works in our game slash simulator, an SU-35S with its modern radar can detect an F-35 or a Raptor at about 10 miles, and it can shoot them at about 8 miles. A much more powerful radar, say on the S300 PM2, which is our equivalent for the S400 today, it can detect a stealth aircraft at about 25 miles and shoot mm, about 20 miles, maybe a little bit less. An A50 AWACS with a huge powerful radar can detect a stealth aircraft, depending on all sorts of parameters, roughly 30, maybe a little bit more miles. So as long as we stay those distances away from those assets, we will be completely secret. Next, what about being spotted visually by people's eyes or optical sensors or electro-optical sensors, IR sensors? Well, if Raptor and Lightning was going to be fielded, it would almost certainly be fielded at night, which would relegate this problem. So we're going to pretend that we're operating at night. All aircraft involved today on both sides are fully night capable, but we're actually going to operate it in the day. Why? Because it would make a terrible video if we did it at night, you would just be staring at a black screen. So let's pretend we're operating at night. We're going to attempt to evade those radars. And theoretically, we could operate with absolute secrecy and impunity, I believe. Here is our actual simulation for today. So translate that 150 by 250 kilometer square. And here we are. It's not actually quite in the right place on our map because the correct place, Mariupol is about there. Donetsk is about there is not modeled properly it's just flat land with no terrain so we've translated everything southeast 300 miles let's look at the hostile situation here is the russian ukrainian border here is ukraine here is russia nearest russian main town rostov on don here ukrainian towns donetsk here and mariupol here roughly set out correctly this is a very busy night for Russian bombing sorties. We've got 14 bombers in total. You probably wouldn't have this many at once, but again, we want a video where we can face a lot of baddies. Otherwise, it will be very boring for you. We've got, at various times coming in, Su-34 bombers, eight of them. They're going to bomb random buildings around the Donetsk region. They're traveling relatively low level and fast. Also, 
SU-24M bombers, six of them doing a similar task. You guys said that the SU-24 is maybe not realistic for this task and maybe we should use the SU-25. However, to be honest, it's not going to make a vast amount of difference in the simulation. So that's 14 bombers. They also have lots of escort and we've given them basically the best possible escort they could field. Lots of SU-35Ss. Is that realistic? I don't know, but let's make it as hard as we can. They've got six SU-35S frontline fighters up and escorting at 20,000 feet. You've got a pair here, you've got a pair here, and a pair here, all ahead of the bombers protecting the airspace, and they will all be modelled roughly realistically in terms of their radar power, their detection ranges, their missiles, and so on. Also, we've got 12 on QRA, so once we, or if we are detected, or if Russian planes start getting shot down, then these guys are going to trigger. There are 12 more SU-35Ss at Rostov and Don, with the same weapons, we've got two Archer Mark IIs and a whole bunch of R-77 modernized adders, which are, I think, long-range missiles. That is the Air Force that's going to be involved. Note correction, they've got an AWACS up here, fairly far within Russia. It would easily reach the combat area in terms of normal detection ranges, but stealth detection ranges hopefully won't be an issue. Finally, Samnets, our S-400 analogs to the S-300 PMU-2, sight there, sight there, with a detection range of about 25-ish miles for a stealth aircraft, or about 250 miles for a non-stealth aircraft. On the borders, and we've just got to try and stay away from them. That is the Russian simulated area. We're not doing anything with man pads or optical sensors. Like we said, it is going to be night time today anyway. Then we have ourselves. We're not in a realistic area. Poland would actually be way up here, but I'll be damned if I'm flying 1,200 kilometers today anyway. Oh, here's a realistic transpose position of the nearest AWACS. Its sight will be terminated roughly about where I'm moving the mouse. Now, it would not be effective in this corner of Ukraine. We have with us today three F-35A fighter bombers and three F-22A fighters. They are equipped with AMRAMs, actually slightly older AMRAMs than they would actually use in real life, but it's all we've got that's working properly at the moment. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to make much difference. And a couple of AIM-9Xs for the Raptors. Ignore the pylons, they will be removed. And F-35s, they can only apparently carry four AMRAMs in the bays to be stealthy don't worry about the pylons they will be removed we will be operating in full stealth configuration radar cross section 0 0.005 i believe today we will have a simulated refueling because they would need to refuel probably over moldova where they would probably have a kc-135 from the us supporting them in terms of fuel that leads us on to next predictions guys on tactics we're gonna take off we're gonna refuel we're gonna travel into the combat box and we're going to operate our job will be to shoot down as many russian bombers ideally shooting down the fighters isn't that important but russian bombers and you know kind of winning the war for the allied side if that's the right thing to say uh the tactics will be i think i don't think it matters if we fly high or low we're invisible pretty much so we'll fly at whatever altitude we choose uh the s400 Analog missiles won't be able to target us in theory. As long as we don't get too close to them, we should be, like I said, invisible. Take down as many as we can. With the detection ranges roughly simulated correctly, guys, how do you think we're going to do? I mean, if last time was any sort of uh, signal for that, I mean, we just wiped the floor with them. I think it's going to be even better this time. Yeah, especially if the AI skill level is set to vodka. I've, <laughs> uh, I've set them to the 75%, basically. Uh, they are three out of four in terms of goodness. It just seems to keep everyone happy if I do that. So they will fight well, guys. Uh, it's critical, I should say, not to lose a single stealth aircraft. Bear in mind, we're meant to be operating in absolute secrecy. If the US were found to be operating F-22 or F-35 with a crashed carcass on the ground in the morning, then there would be hell to pay, right? And Mr. Putin would go nuts. So it's important we don't get shot down and we utilize, what's the phrase? Uh, something is the best part of valor. Don't know. Discretion. Discretion is the best part of valor, guys. Next, afterwards, you guys, because these are very complex battles, have asked that we do a tactical review where we can see the battle in 3D. We will do that afterwards so you know exactly what happened. Finally, our disclaimer, GR does not script or prearrange the battles. We just do them live. Therefore, there's always a chance the American fighters could lose. If you can't handle this, please consider not watching the rest of the video. Guys, stand by for flight. Welcome in, valued viewers, to a base in Poland. We've got our three Raptors and our three Lightnings, guys. Follow me to the runway. We'll go after the 22s. 
Just wait, wait in line. Funny thing is, I'm actually picking up radar painting all the way over here in Poland. Oh no, it must be friendly radar, mustn't it? No matter. While I'm here, I can set stuff up. Flight control system, radar, uh, 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 RWR. At this point, Valley viewers, I would ask, which is your favorite fighter? Fighter bomber? Is it the F-22A Raptor or the F-35 Lightning? Mine is the Raptor. It looks cooler. Probably better, right? 100%. I like the, I like the Raptor as well, but Rap or a Cap wouldn't let me fly it. No, that's right. Need the Black Widow too. I did actually have to force the boys to fly, fly the Fat Amy's, the F-35s, because they all wanted to fly Raptors, but I said we need to represent Lightning as well, guys. Alright, two thirty-fives in place. Okay guys, we're going balls to the wall in three, two, one, go give me some go give me some spacing. Oh, this thing shifts. Alright, pull. Back Valley viewers, we are uh, 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 over Moldova now. I've got my AWACS in sight, I'm painting him. My beautiful boys with me. Hey boys. The actual terrain is not Moldova, it's actually somewhere in the Black Sea, I presume. Right, I'm gonna contact our tanker now, standby guys. Go. 20 nautical miles on the nose. Okay guys, break formation. I will see you on the left side of the tanker. It's on the nose by 10 miles. Heat merging. Nose cold. Okay, Mr. Tanker, prepare to accept me. Tanker lights on. Ready, clear Lead cleared. Gaps connected and it feels so good. Take in fuel, boys. Take in fuel. Yes. Pretty much topped off, guys. The release. Next man, I'm going on the right wing. Drops were drawing. Oof. Definitely heavier. He is deploying the phallus. Phallus deployed. Fat Amy or bomb bays are open. But is my AR door open? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. That's a bit weird. 
But that's how she refuels. It's like refueling with your pants down. Mm hmm. There it is. There it is. Too close. Took him a while, but Fat Amy finally got it in. Yeah. And out. Pull back a few rolls. Yeah. Suck that juice. Suck that juice. The image of his bomb bays open. That's just freaking hilarious. Good work, Simba. Good flying. Also, the missiles are flying out. That happens at the end. Okay, Simba, that's enough juice for you. Make sure you disconnect with him on the comms. Scrum, your turn. Cap it. Doing pretty well so far, guys. An ambitious F3 flyby view. Oh. Nice work, Grump. Nice work, Grumptastic. Look at that. Being a Raptor pilot is cool, guys. It's a cool job. That is all. Okay, Grump, that's near enough. You um, detach and ready for the next guy. Okay, that's my boys done. Guys, let's head for East Ukraine. Follow me, please. Welcome back. We're about 100 nautical miles west of our combat area. We've experienced no hostiles so far. We're going to split slightly now. The F-22s are going to bear slightly north on 070. The Lightnings are going to bear slightly south on 110 to take those relative sectors. Make the split now. AESA radars on. Our radars allow us to scan for targets but not be seen in the electromagnetic spectrum. Uh, so that's going to be a useful feature of these aeroplanes. So you in formation, Grump. Hey, firm. Fish one right. Who's lead 35? Fimba is, I will hold around 430. Contacts bearing 113 for 100 miles. Watch out. Take him down. A long way to go on this fuel as well, so uh, stay off burner when you can, realistically. Zero contacts to the north so far, guys. I wonder who's got the better radar, Raptor or F-35, I don't suppose. It's not public knowledge, is it? F-22's got to have the uh, longer range, F-35 is more feature. But does it have a couple? I'm not sure what gives you that logic. When I was originally buying a car, my only prerequisite is it had a couple. It's got to be the same before. thing, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, we got jamming. Break, break. We've got jammers as well. Different target, Wilson 080. Uh, let's just start with the SU 35s. Uh, mm, interesting. Continue so far, and there's no sign that we've been spotted. There are no track signals. Also, distances are probably very high, guys. We're probably still, I don't know. What are you from the, your target, guys? 75. 75, yeah, we've still got a long way to go. The SU 35s do have long range modernized adders with a range of about 100 nautical miles but they can't fire it on us because they can't track more than about eight miles we have a massive advantage over the russians if everything works if our technology works which hopefully it will hopefully it will we've got multiple jammers now on a heading of 082 we are 62 miles from the lead bandit All right heading 115 probably su-35 to so take no prisoners what angels have you got him up simba uh, he is down below 10,000. Roger. I'm not sure what they are. Oh, ours are back. Our jammers are back. Range on though. I got, I got homing on jam. Looks like they're below the clouds. Interesting. Uh, Grump space right, please. Arnie space left. Open attack left. Right. Uh, I am picking up a SU-35 at about 157 miles. Interesting. Wow, that's a long way out. That's a good radar. This has a good radar. All right, I'm pushing up. I'm at 49 miles. It's going to get optimal launch. Once you guys have fired your missiles, unless it's a real sitting duck, don't go in for guns. You know, it's highly unlikely that any of these planes would go in for guns, just RTB. We'll see you back at base. Targets, 40 miles on the nose, guys. Stand by for information. They are deck, deck, deck. Cap's going down. Follow me through, guys. Back me up. Cap will be on the second target. Grump will be on the first target. Arnie's back up. Cap be Grump spiking the first one. Cap will be firing at range no escape. 
I need to stay unlocked for the time being and just cover us in case Copy. that you sneak in. Range, 34 miles. Bombers, definite bombers. 30 miles. Ah, the beauty of the stealth. Uh, quite a ways to go to range no escape. Should have bandits within 20 miles, guys. Shit, Arnie. Other bandits have just appeared on the right, right to right. Yeah. Uh, just, just mm, don't necessarily attack them yet, but just be aware of them while we attack these guys. Well cut. They're jamming now. Cap 20 miles. Rup 19. Far at range, no escape. I don't want to waste missiles. Three to head. Happy. Oh, information from AWACS is coming through. How about that? Take the shot if you have it. No visual on scope. Rub's checking right 28 degrees or 10 degrees. Got him. About 15 miles. Real power. After these, we're right. extending through. There should be two new targets. Simba's got lead. In range. Rub box three. Box three. Follow up the shot. Don't make yourself a target though. My guy's not been fired on yet. He's Shoot. not been fired on. Shoot. Cannonball Fox 3. Do you want me to lock up the second guy? I'm a break himself. No, south. yes. Uh, what's your range to him? Uh, about seven. Splash one SU-34. Negative, I'm firing now. Cap, Fox. Don't go too close, Grump. I've got an active Fox 3 in there. Cap, I'm still on the lead guy. Roger. Right, second guy's going active. Watch out for missiles. He's defensive now. He's going to get hit. He's hit. Extend two new targets. Uh, try I've, got, I've got rear. I've got rear. Confirm new targets ahead, Grump. Confirm you see them. Wow, we're just getting saturated by targets. I'm turning back in. Roger. Got two new targets close, close, close. I'm going to fire one and then I'm going to turn on the overlap. Shoot. So you can come and relieve me. Scott Fox 3. Scott Fox 3. I'm on heading 150. Cap Fox 3. Waiting for Pitbull, then I'm turning cold. I'm the Fox 3. Possible two fighters coming, over, coming in as well. Splash, SU-34. Man, this is populated. Grump's not seeing any targets. Splash, splash, splash. Right, get splash your head. Splash, SU-24. Splash, splash, splash. Splash, splash SU-24. Get your, get your situational awareness back. Cap's cold. Lots of targets around here. All low. Cap, ESCM. Get involved, don't get too close. Cold. Cap cold. From Fox 3. Cold on a vector of due west. Simba heading 0, 4, 0. Cap recommitting to come and help out. What heading are you on, Grump? Grump's heading uh, 140, I have one contact in front of me, 12 miles, 142. Roger, coming. Yep, tally Fox 3 from 13. Tally both of you boys. I've not got the hostile contacts anymore, which worries me a lot. Where have they gone? Grump Fox 3. Roger, I'm relying on you now. Contact. God damn it, I keep losing it. What is that? Cap, new contact, high altitude. Yep, SG35, got an SG35 going for him. Close. Next low, SG24. Fighter coming in for us, Cap, firing, six miles, fire, SG35. I had him heading 170, high left to right. 
Hostiles are scrambling, including SU-57 apparently. Cow splash, turning cold, cold, cold. If you lose SA, get cold to the west. Shit, I just got sonic boomed. Shit, I just got sonic boomed. That ain't good. It is a Camouch flanker. Oh, fuck. Scott Fox 3. Cap dogfight, ACM. Cap flares out. Flares now. Merge SU-35. I don't know how it happened. It just did. Watch him for his missile. Black, SU-24. Or SU-34. Cap, yes, him. Don't fire, don't fire. Unless it's a Fox 2. Shoot. Too close. Shoot. i got to check this is... No, it's a Raptor. Shit, it's a Raptor. Where did this flanker go? Uh, that's, that's me, Cap. That's me, Cap. If you see, do you see any flanker? Nope. Negative. No flanker. We're we're clean. No, it's Scotty, Raptors. Danger, danger Raptors. Close. It's just us. My apologies, guys. I, I just missaw it. Shit, I just got Sonic boomed. That ain't good. It is a Cap Merge flanker. Oh, Scott. Scott. Fox 3. Cap dogfight, ACM. Cap flares out. Flares now. Merge, SU-35. I don't know how it happened. It just did. Splash SU-24. Or SU-34. Continue. Head east. Search for targets high and low. Whoa. That was a close one. Uh, sure three targets to my left. What well on Raptors. What's your heading? I'm now heading 070. Uh, oh, me Jesus. to go left 90 degrees. Five targets for us. Due east. No. 060. Closing. Fast. We've got. Break. Just lots. Just zero, lots. Zero. Copy scanning. Shoot. Shoot. Front close target. Me middle target. Mark rear target. Copy. Fox 3 Winchester. Grump's got middle target. Are uh, your front target, Grump? A middle target. Copy, stand by. I've got a low angels 15 miles out. Grump close target, me middle target, mark rear target. Copy. A Fox 3 Winchester. Grump's got middle target. Are uh, your front target, Grump? I'm middle target. Copy, stand by. I've got a low angels 15 miles out. Splash SE 24. Two rear ones appear to be SU-35 going high. As soon as you've taken that first target, go up for the other ones, Scrump. Cap, 15 miles. Fuel, good. Scrump, uh, 13. Okay, but I don't get too close to the money because I will be firing with live fox series. I'm moving. Tracking a low bomber, uh, low belt. From 10 miles out. Heading 20. Fox 3 miles out. Hostiles are SU-35. No. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they are. 34. Simba, visual on SU-24. Flying at Angels 9000. That barring now. No, uh, there's a Raptor that's too close. I'll fire that Raptor's too close. Raptor, please space out from the target. Got merged. There's a bunch of here. Shit, all shit's going down there. Fuck. Grump, where the hell are these bad guys? 234 splashed. No, there's a Raptor that's too close. Can't fire, that Raptor's too close. Raptor, please space out from the target. Got merged. Shit, all shit's going down there. Fuck. Grump. Where the hell are these bad guys? See if it, All right. it went wrong and we got Simba merged. Simba is Winchester and egressing. There's a flanker near me that got shot down. That would do. Start 360 scan, guys. Okay, we're merged with a uh, uh, Fat Amy. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Just PID now, including you, Fat Amy's PID. We've mixed in with you somehow. That is Raptor. That is Fat Amy. Yeah, we're merging with the other boys. 360 scan. Raptors, read out your missile status. We're up uh, two 120s left. Cap three. Keep, keep 360 scan. How, how are you doing, Lightnings? Somebody is egressing. Just kicking. Yeah, e um, e egressing as well. Winchester looks like we missed three bombers. Oh, we've killed plenty, guys. Six, eight, ten, eleven. That's eleven. That's eleven dead. And we haven't even been threatened yet. Is anyone firmly against evacing now? 
Negative. Egress heading 271. 2701, let's go guys. I'll see you back at base. Woo! What a mission. Can Cannonball, you have two directly in front of you. Right. Cannibal, be careful. Do not want to lose an airframe at this point. I'm Cannibal actually. Fuck free. I'm gonna go high and burn out uh, just to get some safety margin. Oh shit, there's a hostile in front of me. Due, guys, there's a hostile in front of us. Due west. I don't know how it happened. Yeah. There is. Simba miles. is passing through Angels 30. He's down at about 3,000 feet, closing. Wish I had a uh, Fox 2. Rob Scott, M120. Uh, I'll take the shot. I'll stop 10 miles on my nose, out on, on a westerly heading. Splash 234. Got a cannonball, get Got west. On. Must be tracking a bomber. I'm tracking a bomber west. Someone's gunning him. Oh, this flew. Go who gunned him, get away now because I'm going to push Fox 3 in. It's just safer. All right, go for it. Cap Fox 3. Use the missiles. Okay, that's going to kill him. Yeah, it's just some ass bomber. He's already dead. Oh, he's definitely dead now. This missile's on the way. Splash. He was not dead, actually, but. Cannonball splash 234. Egressing west. Everyone egress west. That's an hors d'oeuvre. I'm not expecting any more hostiles, so I'm nose cold. When you're done, guys, nose hold. Nose cold, point for the ceiling. Drop nose cold. See you at 30,000 feet. Stealth plane, best plane. Cap, 50% fuel. Oh, that went quick. Jeez. Just gonna we're trying to get all the way back. Uh, stand by. We're not going all the way back to Poland because uh, I can't be bothered. So we're just going to go and land at a neutral base that's just uh, under 100 miles away, basically. That will do. Call it a refueling farm. Yeah, I was say real life. Obviously, we would be back to going back to Moldova, just back to the refueler. But I just can't be can't be bothered with it. We've been getting sporadic AWACS reports. I wonder what they were. Twenty-seven thousand feet. I didn't set. Oh, it's see, it can see the other AWACS. Twenty-seven thousand feet. So it can see the other AWACS, but it can't see the smaller aircraft. How interesting. Got Simba it. is going to hold orbit at the town. Okay. On the coastline. Perhaps run and break. Yeah, we'll set it up. I'll go for run set and break. Set us up for the entry. Zero five right. Entering now. Fuel is uh, 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 about ten percent. Super cruise. We've got super cruise on the go. Out of interest, I ended with two AMRAMs and two heaters. So I used four AMRAMs. Oh, no, we'll look at the kills when we get down. Let's concentrate on landing first, guys. Oh, that's a small runway. Cap on the brake. You're looking at the wrong runway. Oops, don't go to the wrong runway, Scott. It would be embarrassing for the entire unit. Wouldn't be the first time for mm. me. Hold pattern will be over the town that is split between the lake and the river. Uh, now remember, we don't remember to uh, disconnect your uh, canopies before you land. Ooh, of course, that's a very expensive canopy, what? but it's going. I thought, I thought we do that after. Oh, does anyone know if Raptor has flaps? Now would be a good time to learn, I suppose. Yes, right. yep. it does have flaps. Supposedly, it's automatic, um, and especially in that version, you have a landing mode. Um, it should land automatically for you. Too late. And touchdown on the skid. Braking. All right, bring it down, guys. Zero five right, please. Hundred yards. Scott rolling in, if you don't mind. Wow, that's thumping great flaps. Look at the size of them. That F-35 does not have wheels out. Make a decision, either land or put your wheels out. Jesus, that was close. That was so close. Just teasing you, Valley Viewers. He's just teasing you. Scott, there are two planes on final. One has gear down, one does not, FYI. I don't know why everyone's forgetting their gear today. It's a crap glitch. Yeah, there are two gears down. All right. Is this a fat Amy and a Raptor? It is, isn't it? It is. Oh, that's why Scott didn't have his gear down there. Come on. Yeah. Nice formation landing, boys. Good work. Be a very expensive accident if you hit each other. Lovely, well, this uh, fat Amy cutting right in front of me. Welcome in, Lightning. Yeah, 
roughing over the numbers. Welcome in, is that you, Grant? Welcome in Final Raptor. Well, guys, let's have a look at how many bandits we've killed, then we'll go and check the attack for you. We have killed three plus three plus three is nine. Oh, well, plus three is twelve. Oh, lightning, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, that's it. Love you, Grant. Plus three is twelve. Fourteen. We've got fourteen, guys, for a loss of zero. Fourteen for a loss of zero. That's not bad. Right, uh, let's go and watch the attack views see what actually happened. Welcome back, valued viewers. We've reviewed the attack view and we found out why we did so well. And I apologise, but this is life, I'm afraid. The airborne SU-35 has never appeared because I screwed up and I put them on late activation by accident. So that's why none of us, none of us got attacked or shot down. Ah, this is so frustrating. Uh, anyway, so there we go. Um, we did this. We went to split. And we just shot down loads of bombers without any hostiles really coming towards us. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing really tactical here. Just bomber to bomber to bomber to bomber to bomber to bomber. Now, interestingly, if I'd done it right and the SU-35s were there, would we have been intercepted? Oh, I just don't know. That's so frustrating, guys. Fortunately, we have very limited time to do everything, make missions run them. Errors like this do happen, unfortunately. So, to reiterate, we were supposed to have six SU-35s up there to defend them. They didn't appear, so we just had the bombers. So we took the bombers down. We shot all 14 of them down for a loss of zero, which was nice. One guy had to leave before we got back, but it's, it's not a loss, obviously. And then we landed, and we operated, well, as we expected, with complete, complete impunity. How much would it have been different if the SU-35s were airborne? Honestly, I don't know. It, probably unlikely that they would have found us but i don't know so i guess we'll have to rerun it at some point guys with active uh, see these guys worked from the base but the active ones just didn't appear incredibly frustrating well it definitely would have been in a lot more target rich environment yeah we'll yeah. To, uh, really stretch our tws legs and get shots out we'll run it again at and some point guys simple as that f-35 f-35s are running out of ammo so almost it's almost forcing them to go into beast mode roger so what we'll say is guys um the at least if there was no escorts out it just was a blood fest no one got near us no one fired any missiles at us they had the ability to they could fire heaters at us but we were just so invisible to them I had no no chance of knowing we were coming until the missile went active and hit them pretty much we'll try it again with um, some proper defenders set up and we get a second otherwise there's not much else to say any debrief notes from anyone it was to be honest just really easy sort of as we thought yeah, it would be. I, called, I basically called it <laughs> i yeah. just said it would be a bloodbath at the beginning Roger. Well, um, at least if there's no major escorts, uh, there's no reason why F-22 and F-35, we think, couldn't operate at night and just, uh, well, destroy everything. The main Grim Reapers videos are now being split between this YouTube channel and the Grim Reapers 2 YouTube channel. So if you want to see all of the Grim Reapers videos, please consider subscribing to both channels. And thank you for watching.